Today we're going to be showing you the Blue Moo Universal Home Entertainment Remote. This thing is awesome. Now I cheated a little bit because I already unboxed the thing and hooked it up, but it was just because I was so excited to play with it. Um, I shoved everything back in the box so you can kind of see a little bit of the packaging here and how it looks. Um, but uh, I'm going to show you kind of what it looks like to hook it up and how it works to use it. All right, you'll see, uh, so the inner box comes out, take the lid off, and now you here have the, the Blue Moo. Kind of interesting name, but it's a, it's a pretty stout little device. It uh, feels very high quality. Uh, this cord that comes out the back, sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed here. Let's get out of there. All right, check this thing out. It's, um, it's about the size of my palm. Okay. Uh, this cord coming out of the back is pretty stiff, so it does kind of make it a weird balancing act because the cord itself feels like it might weigh just as much as the unit, uh, but that's good because, I don't know, it's a, it's a good sturdy cord. Anyways, alright, uh, what else do you get? You get your audio connection here, and this is for streaming the Bluetooth audio uh, from your phone or other Bluetooth capable device to the Blue Moo and directly to your home theater system. Here's the Blue Moo device uh, sitting in my electronics cabinet here. Here's my Onkyo TX-NR808 receiver. Uh, it does not have Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, so I was really excited to get the Blue Moo to be able to stream music from my phone and iPad to the receiver and then to my home theater system. Okay, so now we have a blank Blue Moo app. Alright, so let's go ahead and set up a device. So we're going to go here, we're going to add a device. We're going to go to we got receivers, and let's go down to O and Ankyo. And wow, there's a lot on here. Okay, we want maybe the TX series main zone, all models. Sounds good. Um, did the receiver turn on? Uh, no. Oh, something happened. Did the receiver turn on? Yes, it did. There it is. All right. So we're going to go, yes. It turned on. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new custom remote. I'm going to name it um, Theater. There we go. And OK. All right, so now I have my theater remote right here. I'm going to go ahead and add a new button. Add a new button. I'm going to make it a normal button. All right, so now what's really cool is I have select function, but then I also have add macro function. So I can sit here and add as many functions as I want. Okay, so I can start with saying for the Onkyo, I want to power the Onkyo on, so I could say power on. And then I could say projector. Oh, I'm sorry, that would be the screen. It's up, and it kicked me back out. So let's go back here, add button, normal button. You can see this process gets a little tedious. But once you have it all set up, then you're good to go. It's just getting everything set up. Okay, so let's go ahead and power on. Next function, let's go back to the Onkyo, and let's put it in the right input mode. So I'm going to input, we'll say TV. Sounds good. All right, next I'm going to go to the projector, and then I'm going to power on the projector. There it is right there. Next function, I'm going to go ahead to here. I'm going to go ahead and lower the screen. So I'm going to power on my Onkyo, change the input, power on my projector, I'm going to lower the screen, and here's the really cool piece here, I can insert a delay, because it does take time for my screen to come down, so 15 seconds, I'm going to do another delay, let's do insert another delay, of 15 seconds, and then I'm going to do one last delay, because it does take about 37 seconds for the screen to fully come down, so I'm going to go 37 seconds there, and then I'm going to do one more, and I'm going to go back to the screen and I'm going to stop the screen. Okay. Now really cool about the delay here is I can show you insert delay. I can insert delays as little of a as a quarter of a second 
So that can be really precise when stopping the projector screen, which is super cool. All right, so now that we have our macro set up, I'm going to go ahead and hit the check mark button. And you'll notice that the check mark button, there we go, takes it. Okay, so now what I'm going to call it is, I'll go ahead and call it power on, that's fine. And we'll go ahead and right there. Now it gives me this weird grid pattern to try to place it on my remote. It would be really nice if this was a snap to grid, but it's not. So it's just kind of like drag around. And then when you let go, it just places it right there. I can move that button around later with a different command, but for now that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the power on button, and let's see what happens. So receiver is on. And I apologize if this fuzzy. It's having a little focus uh, problems. The projector flashed. It's on, and the screen is coming down. So the Blue Moo is really cool. The what it does for your home theater system, as far as automating everything, is really awesome. The app is still really, really buggy. Um, as time goes on, I'm sure that will get a lot better. Uh, but for now, the device itself is really great. Uh, it streams audio amazingly. Um, although the app is a huge negative at this point. Just very, very tedious, very buggy, but give it about a year and I think the app will be amazing and the Blue Moo will definitely be the product of choice when it comes to universal remotes. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I will be doing other product reviews in the future. If you would like to see a certain product review, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, there's my fuzzy thumb. Thanks for watching.